Nikozov. Well, now, over the last few years, and despite the fact that he's only made... Well, what's happening today is that uh, we're about to make Band-Aid 2. Um, obviously, the situation in Ethiopia has got worse instead of better, and there are now more people at risk than there were when the original Band-Aid was uh, done. So, on Friday, uh, we called the whole of the record industry, and we've got artists flying in from all over Europe to be here today. But we have to have the record at the record plant by 12 o'clock tomorrow Monday. We have no choice or we just can't make any records. I think the one you should talk to is either this chap or Pete Waterman because they're the people who organise the whole thing. And I think it's more important that people hear what uh, Bross says about it or Kylie Minogue says about it than what I say about it. And uh, I think it's more important that people like Pete Waterman that talk about why they're doing it. That's much more important and much more valid now than what I think about it at the moment. Have you just come to support everybody today? I was, you know, curious, you know, I'm a star fucker, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, it's a very strange thing. Um, I, I watched the news coverage on BBC television uh, over the weekend and, and Monday, and I heard Bob Geldof talking, and I thought that Bob would actually do it. And he called me at about midday on Friday and said that he couldn't do it because he thought it would be wrong if he did uh, another record because he's no longer really part of the pop scene. Um, he's more into the political role of life now. So he said, you know, we were obviously the, the people that should do it, being as we, we are so successful and we could probably pull it together faster than anybody. So, uh, you know, we took the mantle of uh, responsibility on and, and I must say this was easy. This compared, I mean, this is our fifth charity record, but this was easy. I mean, you've only just got to say Band-Aid 2 and it's, it's happening all over again and everybody just said, Wait, just tell me when to be there. You know, I wish I wasn't, I didn't have to do this, but um, it, it's, it, it's something that I feel obligated and I feel as though I want to do to try and help those people um, because it's very important that, that, that at least people at this time of the year have, have something to. We can, we can give money and we can raise money through, through the talents that are inside there at the moment and help contribute to, to other people's lives, which I think is important. Go for it, David, quick. Quick. Terrific. Okay, what's that there? On my tray. So, oh, I think I'm here, Mr. Vin. This is the Crown Down team from Holland. All right, Holland, how are you doing? How are you doing, Kate, Dave? Next one. Kip, Kip. Okay, well here I am in London and we're just about, well I'm just actually about to go in and record the second version of Band-Aid.
course, the cause for Ethiopia. And in a couple of minutes, I'm going to see everybody there on countdown. Uh, Kevin Godley is, uh, is directing the video, um, Media Labs, and again, all everybody's working for nothing. And in fact, they've actually supplied the catering today so that there's tea available all day, because we'll go in, into the night, obviously. All the artists will finish about 10 o'clock tonight, but we'll actually be still working two or, th two or three o'clock tomorrow morning. This is Countdown, isn't it? How you doing, Countdown viewers? Um, Hope you like what we're going to do for you later, but uh, I'll be there soon. I'll see you later, all right? There's no need to be afraid. That's my part. And mine goes, but tonight, thank God it's them instead of you. And I'm still yet to do my business, so. So that's a so real that's, way of getting out yeah, of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we did it. Thank you. Ben Day 2 and Jason Donovan was there Jason, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, you were there last night or a couple yeah. nights ago? Yeah, you yeah. You recorded the song. How did it all come about? How did well, um, what actually happened was um, Bob Geldof had, had, had sent a phone call to, to Pete Waterman and with the, the present news coverage of what's been going on in Ethiopia yeah. that's been splashed across the British papers and yeah. in the British press, he felt that the time was right to do another record. Um, they hadn't seen a famine like this for years. And, uh, and he wanted to bring, because Peter is obviously more in touch with the music industry today than Bob is, yeah. he felt that Pete Waterman would be the right person to bring, bring it all together. And uh, so we did. Was it like a last minute happening, a last, like last minute call to you? It was as last minute as last minute could be. I, I was told on the Friday afternoon, and we were in recording on Sunday. So that's how quick it sort of all happened. But I mean, it's amazing, you know, in a, in a situation like that, uh, when you've got, got a, a charity or, yeah. or something like that's happening in the world. It's um, more important than well, anything else. Well, people really pull together. How did you feel about doing the same song again? Yeah. Uh, do they know it's Christmas? Weren't you kind of surprised they did the same song? Or? Well, I was a bit, yeah, I was a bit surprised, actually, because especially with, with Mike and Matt and Pete, the yeah. Stock Aiken Waterman, the way they write, um, they, they probably could have written a specific song for the charity, but they felt that it would have a greater impact if it was the same song and had the same sentiment, uh, but with different artists on it. Apart from Band-Aid, you're also acting? Yep. Blood? What is it? Blood? Something bloody. It's, it's called Blood bloody. Oath. Yeah. Is it it's, a bloody movie? No, it's not really. Actually, it's a, it's a uh, it's a story based about the Second World War. It's quite a sort of serious film. Um, uh, it ba it bases itself around the war war crimes of the Second World War. Uh, I play a very small part in it, but for me, coming from television, it's more yeah. sort of a learning experience and getting used to, to working it's in cinema. Different. Aren't you afraid that 
people are gonna go see the movie and see you as Jason Donovan instead of the the, the yeah, person you're I playing? Think, I think that's up for the public to decide. Um, I think in the past, particularly in London and particularly throughout Britain and the UK, yeah. people have, have accepted me as both. Yeah. Um, my, my background is in fact acting. My father was an actor for yeah. years yeah. Um, and still is in Australia yeah. and I've spent a lot of time yeah. developing as an actor. It's only recently I've started to, to sing. Because here you're known for your singing yeah. and then later on Neighbours show. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time for the top ten. Sure. And it's all yours. Okay. Let me give you... All right, we've got a list, list. here. Yeah, the there we go. Right there. Okay, at number 10, Lombarda by Kaoma. We'll be at go. the end of the show. Yeah. Okay. Street Tough, Double Trouble, and that's at number 9. There we go. Yeah, what's this one? UB40, <laughs> Homely Girl. Do you know all these songs? Unlike all the other artists that are around <laughs> that don't know anything? Do yeah, know I do know that record, actually. Particularly the English charts, because they're sort of very current, so... Yeah. And number seven, expose. When yeah. I looked at him, there you go. <laughs> Millie Vanilli. Yeah, you we like these the guys. <laughs> Girl, I'm gonna miss you. And that's at number six. Number five is Mr. Lee. Get busy. Did you saw him. There you go. Sorry. We just saw him. Yeah. Lisa Stansfield, someone who's actually here today. We're gonna look at her in after, couple, yeah, in a couple minutes. minutes, that's right. She's great, she sang on, on the band yeah, right, record. Yeah. Lisa Stan, she's at number four. I've been around, that's one of my favorite records, actually. It's she's a, great a very record. nice person, yeah. very nice. Rock set, number three, listen, listen to, to your heart, of course. Uh, number two, Phil Collins, Another Day in Paradise. That's a good song too, Beautiful. brilliant song. And I haven't heard this record before. Is Lily it, was it, here. That's by Dave, Dave Stewart and Candy, Candy Dolphin. Candy Dolphin, yeah, number she's one. Dutch. Dave Stewart mm -hmm. wrote it and Candy Dolphin plays the sax. Uh -huh. So it's, it's like, kind of like a Dutch... A Dutch movie. Dutch movie. Right. It's a big hit these days. There they are. Jason, thank you very much. We're going to take a look at your video, uh -huh. the newest one. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to sign the shirt. I will, definitely. And good luck. Same to you. Thank you very much. Jason Donovan. We gaan zo kijken naar zijn nieuwe clip, maar we gaan nu kijken naar Lisa Stansfield, live on stage, op nummer 4. Hey, hey.